hey, 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 oh my god. <laughs> hey, feeling good, like I should. Alrighty, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emma and today we are going to chat all things nutrition. Today I thought I would do a video on all the things you should know before you want to start studying nutrition. Now I know a lot of you watch my YouTube videos, particularly the ones that I did um, about being a nutrition student right so i'm fully graduated now i'm fully actually practicing as a nutritionist now but a lot of you there was always 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 countless comments about like oh my god like is nutrition hard like what what's involved in studying nutrition like you know is chemistry like is there a lot of chemistry is there such and such such and such and i'm like you know what now that I'm officially finished, now that I'm all in, ready to go, now that I've acquired and equipped all this knowledge, I'm going to just share with you all all the things you should know before you study nutrition. Or if you have been looking at studying nutrition, here are some things that I think you should know. And again, this is all my opinions, my knowledge. You can go watch someone else's, they might have different opinions, alright? But this is just advice from someone who's actually studied nutrition now for about four years. So I... Th I I like to think I know what I'm talking about. So yeah, um, if you are interested, actually, excuse me, shameless plug, if you are interested in working with a nutritionist one-on-one, -on -one, um, currently at the moment, I am offering a 12-week one-on-one online nutrition coaching program for anyone out there who is interested in receiving that extra guidance, that extra support, and that accountability to receive individualized nutrition support just tailored towards you and your goals, right? If you're looking to learn how to fuel your body properly maybe you're not even sure if you're actually eating enough maybe you've got some body composition goals in mind and you want to do this in a really healthy non-restrictive way maybe you're just looking at implementing some healthier habits maybe you've tried in the past but they just never seem to stick these are just a few things that i can help you guys with i can actually provide you with the guidance and support the necessary tools and all of that sort of stuff to help you improve your overall nutrition and to really utilize nutrition to enhance your lifestyle right rather than brutalizing nutrition and just, you know, developing a really healthy, loving relationship with food. So if you'd like to find out more information, um, I'll leave my website link down below and I'll also leave the coaching application form down below as well if you're interested. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. And I'm not even going to put a transition in that. So I wrote some things on my phone actually about what I was going to talk about today. So I think the most important thing for you guys to know before you start studying nutrition is understanding that there are different avenues within nutrition, right? There is being a nutritionist, which is what I am, or there is being a dietitian. Those two names, like what you do as a nutritionist and what you do as a dietitian are completely different. And basically the scope of practice this you do in each role is different and it's really good to understand what's involved and what is covered in each role because you know maybe you want to do clinical work right maybe you want to work in the hospital you've got to understand like okay I need to do this pathway in order for me to do clinical work okay so I thought I would tell you guys and explain to you guys the differences between a nutritionist and a dietitian okay because like I said they're two completely different fields and one of the most important things also and I know that this is the case in Australia right one of the terms is regulated and accredited whereas the other term not so much right so to be a dietitian and I'm speaking this as an Australian resident I don't know how it works in like Canada or the UK or America I'm not too sure so you would have to double check with your universities and all of that sort of stuff how that works over there your schooling in order to be a dietitian you would need to do a four years bachelor degree you Usually it's a bachelor's in nutrition and dietetics or you can either do a bachelor of health science but then do like a master's in dietetics you know because the ATAR that's what our like big score is here in Australia the ATAR to get into dietetics it's like in the 95s <laughs> so a lot of people go down the avenue of jumping into the health science and then deferring off into dietetics that way so to become a dietitian you have to do a four-year university degree Whereas a nutritionist, right, anyone can basically call themselves a nutritionist because dietitians are regulated and accredited. So once you graduate as a dietitian from university, you become an accredited practitioner. 
practicing dietitian you registered on the board but if you study nutrition the term nutritionist is not regulated because anyone can do a so-called nutrition course and call themselves a nutritionist right like I am an accredited sports nutritionist because I I've done a bachelor of food and nutrition a three-year degree because there's like to be a nutritionist there's like shorter degrees like there's a bachelor of nutrition science bachelor of food and nutrition that makes you able to be a nutritionist or something like that right so that's what I did I did a bachelor of food and nutrition through La Trobe University and then just recently I did a certificate in applied sports nutrition which I then became a member of the Sports Association of Australia which then makes me an accredited sports nutritionist so my credentials is actually governed by a body it's actually regulated like I you know I'm actually covered you know what I mean whereas if someone just does like I don't know a random tw like 12 week course online they can just call themselves a nutritionist they're not really governed by anyone right it, this is why it's really 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 important that you you know the people's qualifications if you are looking for someone to receive nutritional help and guidance especially on social media okay because a lot of these influences these fit fluences say they know all about nutrition but they really don't a dietitian the terms regulated nutritionist not really regulated now the type of work you can do as a nutritionist and a dietitian it, it can be different as well so as a nutritionist you can do a lot more broader work and what I mean by that is you kind of work more with the general population you work in public health in the research it's it's more just like your basic nutrition the you know the Australian dietary guidelines you kind of working more with that towards the general population or if you're like me I've actually done a certificate in the applied sports nutrition so I'm able to work more with like people who are looking at losing body fat or gaining muscle or re body composition or people who are in sport or in the gym and wanting to improve their performance and that sort of stuff right a dietitian can work more specifically right they have the capacity the capabilities and the knowledge and skills to actually work with specific cases and more targeted population because of their skill set because they've done that four-year qualification and they've done their placements and all of that to actually work with these cases and populations because their nutrition is going to be very very different from the general population so that's something to keep in mind as well the scope of practice that a nutritionist and a dietitian can do so if you're wanting to work more with like I don't know say diabetics you probably have to go do the dietitian the dietetic degree whereas a nutritionist you, you're not going to really be able to you know most nutrition degrees university degrees don't cover that and certainly that 12 week online course from some scabby site won't cover that either so <laughs> another thing to note as well about the two is employment right and can, I'm just going to say this as a whole like there is like a lot of people think like they need to go into clinical work once they've like graduated from university but there is so many possibilities and avenues that nutrition is going down now right you can work in the public health sector you can work in research you can work in product development like food development food designing and all of that sort of stuff you can work in media social media all of that sort of stuff and you can work with organizations and you can work in hospitals and aged care and you can work in gyms you can work for sports teams you can work there's just so many possibilities you can work on your own you can start your own business like I've done like there is so many possibilities now and it's not just that you could be a recipe developer like how cool is that <laughs> just know that you don't have to work in a clinical setting if you don't want to if you do fantastic go you but just know that you don't have to go down that road all right but it is very 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 important to know again your scope of practice if you are a nutritionist or if you're wanting to just be a nutritionist or if you want to be a dietitian because there is only so much you can do as a nutritionist as a nutritionist you cannot do you cannot work in a hospital right whereas a dietitian you can because again they've done the four years they've got the experience the knowledge they have the capabilities to work in a clinical hospital setting and also to note as well the type of clients you can work with as well so any like across the whole you can work with absolutely like anyone in the general population nutritionist dietitian right a nutritionist can work with the general population they can work with athletes yeah like you and me 
hey, want to work with me? Like, you know, just the general population. Whereas dietitians, they can work with people who have more serious medical conditions. So diabetes, obesity, maybe they're underweight, they've got cancer, some type of autoimmune disease, like all of that sort of stuff. Now, I do get a lot of questions about like what's involved in studying nutrition. So I'm just going to speak about the course that I did and what was involved for me. I can't speak on what a dietetics course will involve. I know it involves lots of placements and more information surrounding like diabetes, obesity, cancer, all that sort of stuff. More nutrition strategies and that sort of stuff around that. But again, I can't speak on that. So like I said, I did a Bachelor of Food and Nutrition and that course ran for three years. I will warn people, right? There is chemistry involved and I get tons of questions like, is the chemistry like hectic? Just know it is best that you have a basic understanding of chemistry before you go into a nutrition dietetics degree right because I honestly wish that I did chemistry in year 12 now because there was a like for me like yes I feel like I, I like my favorite subject science like I understand science a lot but I wish I kind of had that solid background knowledge and understanding of chemistry before I went into this because I had to spend like extra time like reading up on like uh, like what's carbon and oxygen and all that stuff like I knew what that was but like basic chemistry because I didn't do chemistry in year 11 and year 12 right so if there is one thing I recommend just so you can get through the course as easily as possible is to do chemistry in the last two years of school like what however your schooling works right definitely brush up on your chemistry because it is involved you're not going to escape it it is a big part of nutrition that's that's how food is made up right you know carbohydrates are made up of carbon and hydrogen and oxygen and all of that sort of stuff like chemicals that's what's in our food so you kind of need to know chemistry to do this course properly and do nutrition properly and understand it i also want to point out there like and this is something i wish i knew as well i thought going into nutrition it meant like oh i'm just going to learn about food no you no that's literally like one quarter you don't just learn about food you don't learn like how to eat well and stuff like that a lot of the subject is anatomy a lot of anatomy a lot of physiology i remember one of the physiology units that i did was so hard like i only think i oh yeah i only just passed that one yeah a lot a lot of anatomy a lot of physiology there was food chemistry as well so it's like you know it was i i remember doing like these little experiments on like butter and doing like melting different types of butter so it was like your normal butter and margarine and knowing like oh this one's got saturated fats this one's got trans fat and see how each one is actually melted because the trans fat one won't actually melt because it's artificially made it's manufactured that was actually one of my favorite subjects there is also a big 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 research component i feel like that's in a lot of university degrees um or any degree in general is research um there's a business component as well determinants of health because health is just not physical it's also environmental social emotional personal individual all of that sort of stuff so i remember there was a big 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 focus on that as well and like in my sports nutrition degree as well there was a lot on like exercise and food like so for example how is carbohydrates utilized during exercise right sports nutrition that was what my certificate was in so it was a lot to do with like the Krebs cycle anaerobic thresholds and like the phosphagen systems and the aerobic system oh I remember the sorry this is all coming back to me now I remember there was a good sports nutrition component in the course that I did and that's when I knew I was like yes I'm definitely specializing in sports nutrition like, this is exactly where I want to go you know doing an actual broad nutrition degree actually can help you realize what you actually want to specialize in too because maybe you want to specialize in a different area within nutrition right so you can do an extra certificate later down the line in a different area like I did just know chemistry is evolved and it's not just about food and learning how to eat well right but I think one of the greatest things about studying nutrition for me and I think for a lot of people who want to go down this avenue is the reward it is such a rewarding job doing nutrition because you're getting to help people with their health you're getting to help people feel better to thrive to perform to you know improve their health and for me this is really really something like i can't believe i'm doing now right because i'm now like officially being that voice that i wish i had before i embarked on my health journey right before i went all down these avenues of thinking i was doing the right thing you know listening to unqualified professionals and ended down a really bad deep hole but like i'm now i i'm now like fully qualified fully accredited to actually like go and be the voice 
that I wish I had. So it's really, really, really rewarding. I think the reward is one of the biggest things about studying nutrition. And like, I'm like really passionate about it. Like this is something, oh my God, the sun. This is something I've been like passionate about since I was 16. And I knew that this was something I wanted to do. Like seeing it now coming to a reality is so surreal for me. And like, if you want to study nutrition, you've got to be like passionate about it. Like with any degree, right? If you're, you want to study something, just make sure that it's something you're interested in, something you're passionate about. Otherwise that three to four years is, it's going to be a rough time in your life. <laughs> you're going to like dread every waking moment um, because you're not studying something you're truly like passionate about right but just make sure that it's something that you really really want to do deep down like understand why i think why your why behind everything will drive you just understand why 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 do you want to do this so some key things to take home ladies and gentlemen is understanding that there is a difference between a nutritionist and a dietitian not just in terms of like them being regulated and accredited but like also your scope of practice all right it's understanding that if you want to be more medically involved if you want a broad like a more scope in your practice it's best that you go down a dietetics route <laughs> dietetics route well, how are you say that I don't even know and there is the opportunity if you later down the line want to do dietetics in the future you can go out and do a master's in dietetics or a diploma to get you into the masters like there is different avenues so just know that there is a difference and it's understanding like okay what do you want to do what do you want to do and then deciding from there what course you should do what avenue you should go down and yeah definitely big thing is just understanding what each one is and your clients you can take on and the employment as well all of that sort of stuff so i hope this given you a good clear idea on whether or not you should study nutrition you know things you should kind of be aware of before you actually go on and bark bark on studying nutrition let me know if you do study nutrition in the comments down below or let me know if you are looking to study nutrition and if you have any more questions like you can always message me on instagram it's at emma clark underscore nutrition nutrition and like if you've got any questions i know a lot of people have asked me questions about the courses i've done in the past and that sort of stuff like feel free like i can you know just hit me up you know <laughs> thank you for watching today's video if you would like more information about what i have to offer and what i promote and that sort of stuff check out my instagram check out my website yeah that's all i have <laughs> tiktok if you want to go on tiktok some of my videos are blowing up recently for like weird reasons oh and my podcast holy crap why did i forget about my podcast okay my podcast fuel to fry is another good platform where i share my stories experiences you know knowledge all things nutrition right so if you want more information about nutrition and that sort of stuff definitely listen to my podcast it's available on apple and spotify i think at the moment um yeah definitely listen to that why did i forget that i don't know but anyways i've gotta go thank you so much for watching today's video and i will catch you guys in my next one peace out